Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Arcadian Atlas. Last time we left off, we got started on our adventure and uh, managed our troops and all of that stuff. Um, and I also realized something when I was editing um, the uh, previous video. So the reason it said the crossbow, or, or the bow, had higher damage than this, the crossbow, was because um, I probably have uh, in the skill tree bow mastery yes so i just do more damage as long as i have a crossbow or, or as long as i have a bow equipped Ooh, and i bet i couldn't use arrow rain without that too Ooh, i bet so I, I i bet i bet i can't use that without the hmm yeah limp temporarily lowers own speed all units in the square receive splash damage Ooh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, going going for different things. Interesting, interesting. <clears throat> okay, okay. Um, I'll leave you on the crossbow for now, I guess. Just because I want to give it a shot. But you are just straight up less effective with crossbows. At the moment. Your, your, your driftwood bow would be better. Um, I mean, it's still early. We... Probably won't have too much trouble with that, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I saw that in editing um, The previous time so let's go ahead and get started And go down here So I wonder what the if if crossbows don't do more damage Just naturally than bows. I wonder what the difference between like just a crossbow and a bow is um, Maybe it's like maybe it's like tactics and stuff where crossbows shoot in a straight line so they can like hit terrain um and bows can kind of arc over things. I, I'm not sure. We'll see. But I'm going to at least give a crossbow a shot. But it, like I said, it seems like I won't be able to possibly use the arrow rain ability. So. We'll find out. The weight ruins. Uh, we should really go around, shouldn't we? As an emblem mirror further south. This is apparently a faster route. It's not on the map, though. And, well, it's kind of creepy. Huh, I sort of like it. The map's pretty useless, to be fair. The roads are all pre-war. I just don't really... Um... No, oh, no, fellas, this isn't the best place to be slinging spells around. Can't we all agree to put our ice shards away for just a second and talk this through? Whoops. Hope that potion wasn't important. Ah, <laughs> hey there. How the hell did that scam artist weasel out of here? Uh, you're here just in time. Some dangerous mages have uh, shacked up in their escape from Letha, most likely. They use blood magic on me and, and spirit magic and some some gurgling gut magic just tossed in for kicks. <laughs> I'll level with you. They're vicious, but you're clearly capable of handling this without me. Really, really. I'll, I'll just I'll just be on my way L later. In, fa in fact, I'll just go. Bye. What kind of potion did you drop? Vashti, are you crazy? Get away from that stuff. Raccoon! I think I know who this is! Yeah! I don't know what that liquid does, but we may have a raccoon-sized problem on our hands. A raccoon wielding a knife, the most dangerous thing in the world. Alright, so I, I knew there was like a raccoon character because it was used a lot in marketing and stuff, so. Told you we shouldn't have come this way. What? It's just a raccoon with a knife! Okay, the raccoon knows how to use the knife. Looks like he's fighting on our side, so let's not bicker about it. Get a, uh, Gather the troops and weapons at the ready. Alrighty. Let go. Let's do it. Oh yeah, one thing uh, I was interested in looking at, which may be the case, I mentioned last time that it was uh, harder to keep track of like how much HP my units had. Um, I wonder if there's like an option 
to, um, let's put you, like, up here since you're the archer. Um, I wonder if there's an option to, let's put you up here as well. Enable, like, health bars below my characters or something like that, maybe? Could possibly be. Um... And then we have... The other apothecary. Or the warmancer. Problem being, I can't kind of scout what the enemies are to kind of build a strategy against them. I kind of do just have to go in guessing here. Um... I mean, we already have an apothecary down. Your specialization is field magic, or, or field medic, though. Hmm. Don't know what to do. Let's just, let's just go in with you, since you're a higher level, I guess. And we'll put you right there. Seems like a good call to me. Sounds like they're blowing leaves outside. I don't think that's picking up on the mic, though. Alright. Ooh, you're using the dowsing arrow. Hey, that's what I like to do. You're not allowed. So, yeah, so I can't use arrow rain because that's a bow skill specifically. Uh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um. Oh, do crossbows have to charge? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, it seems like crossbows might have to charge. Yeah, because that character's charging as well. Ooh, that's 40 damage already. Um... And there's not items in this game, so all of my healing does have to be done by this. Oof. Okay. Yeah, because there's no items. I gotta see if that other character is, um, what they're, what they're doing. What are you doing? Okay, um... Yeah, let's check the options. So, is there like a... Enable health bars or something? Screen flash, screen shake, gameplay, no. Yeah, I was wondering if we could like have health bars like under our model here or something. Just to help me keep track of my character's HP a little bit more. But uh, it seems like that is not an option. So, um, you... Do you have, you do have a crossbow. So crossbows must just take time to charge. Um, I didn't- I didn't get that when I was looking at the description for them. But it seems like that's the case. So. Alright, um... I'm willing to bet you're casting that flame wall skill I saw last time, probably on my two cavaliers. If I had to guess. Let's have you cast a fireball on this character. Isn't that the one that we're currently hitting with, uh, the crossbow shot? Ooh, and you're ignited. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. You just healed. Um, can you make it over here? You can make it close enough to do a sword bash. Sure. That's good. I like having that little bit of extra range there. Um, let's see. What could you do? Uh, shield bash. Hunker down, protecting cavalier and all allies in the two tile rectangle with 20 evasion bonus that persists. Yeah, sure, let's do that. There we go. I'm protecting you. Ooh, okay. So yeah, that character's almost down. Ooh, owie. Pain. Aha, you were doing the flame wall, idiot. Okay, so what does the burning status actually do, is my next question. Um... I am kinda curious about that. Jock? So yeah, you're attacking with the crossbow again. Ow, they're really picking on Desmond. Okay, um... I'm gonna hope the burning status just, like, does damage. I'm, I'm really gonna hope it just does damage. Uh, I'm gonna go down here and heal you. God, I love how fast your movement is. So let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's heal you. You're gonna need it. There you go, Dez. There we are. And where do you think you're going? What are you doing? Um... 
Okay, so you're right here, you're right there. Hmm, I wonder where you're casting that magic. I couldn't see where you're casting it. I don't, I don't think so, so... Um, 31 to you... Like I said, I'm hoping you just die from, like, the burn damage? I'm gonna- I'm gonna hope it burns. Can't- can't I, like, see descriptions of what- what that is? Let's see. HP minus 20% per turn. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we want that. Good. There we are. Okay, here comes the apothecary, though. Yeah, I was about to say, you're probably gonna heal him. That's fine. Yeah! So that- that was enough to finish you. Good. Owie. That hurt. Pain. Um... Let's just basic attack you. Not quite enough to kill. Ooh, my god, look at my range though. Yeah, that was the other benefit to the crossbow, I guess, is it has- it does have increased range. Well, take out the healer first is always a good strategy. Oh, I should have moved though. I should have moved though. Um... Once again, though, take out that healer. There we go. And Des... You're looking a little bit worse for wear... ...is the problem. Um... I think I'm gonna move you back. Because two more characters go before our healer gets the opportunity to move. So, let's go back and stand back here, I think. Okay, and it seems like we don't have to worry about hitting our own allies or terrain. Specifically with, like, crossbows, which is good. So, I don't have to worry about that, really. Um, it seems like the crossbow will just... Because I would have expected it to hit a wall or something there, but it did not. Alright, restoring flask. Yes, please. Okay. I'm gonna go get up here. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're casting more fire. Um, so... You have high magic resistance, so do you. I can finish off Harrietta, though. Boom. Alright, no more healer. Good. Very, very good. Ow! God, you hurt. Uh-oh. I mean, you just healed, right? So, you should be fine. You have low physical defense, I'm gonna go for you. Quick attack, yeah. You're also like the boss of this encounter, it seems, because you seem stronger than the other characters by a decent amount. Um, let's see, dowsing arrow, mm, basic attack. How long will it take for this to go off? Does it, does it go off like my next turn? I'm imagining yes. I'm gonna shoot you. Or it goes off like right now. Okay. Where do- hmm. <clears throat> where do I see where it actually charges, I wonder? Like, the charge time I have left. Cause Tactics had like a CT meter that you could refer to, but I don't see that here. Rend armor. So this does extra damage against enemies have high defense, although it's weaker against high magic defense enemy enemies. I wonder what constitutes high defense, because this is a ranger. They have higher defense than magic defense, but does that mean it's high defense? Let's see, it does 41 damage if I use that, 40 damage if I do this. So it does one extra damage. Interesting. And sword bash does 28. Okay, I mean, I'll just do a basic attack then. I don't see much reason to do the high defense, or the defense piercing one. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do one extra. Okay, I can see where you appeared on the menu now. Okay, down there, because yeah, it's saying after after this character's turn, that dork is gonna get to uh, attack me. Right here. Okay, so they, they appear on the timeline down there. So, that makes sense, I suppose. Now, ooh, we're alive though. Um, 
Let's see, I could kill the ranger. Or I could go heal deaths. Let's go heal deaths. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're getting taken out. This is not an easy fight for the second fight in the game. Uh, they're actually... They're actually kind of doing work. Um... So if I attack here, I would be going after that character. So it tells you down there when your turn's gonna come next. Okay, so... Yeah. Alright, that's that's good to know. We're, we're learning uh, about the UI here and stuff. Quick attack again. There we go. So you're going to go, but you're not going to get enough time to do anything because I'm going to shoot you. Here we are. So what do we get when characters die, I wonder? Do they leave behind crystals, or... What's the deal there? Oh my god, one HP in a dream. Wow. Bonk. We actually do pretty good damage with smacking with that staff, too. Uh, so they are they just, like, gone gone? I guess so. I imagine when when they when they're like stuff there actually runs out, like you're you're done done too. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Uh, like I imagine that character is, for all intents and purposes, dead. Or maybe they're just removed from the battle and you can't like revive them or anything like that. We'll see. There we are. Oh wait, shit! That was my old character. <laughs> my own guy <laughs> I'm sorry friend I meant to hit the other mage I'm sorry <laughs> well that was almost a flawless battle <laughs> my old jackass mission complete war spoils 5200 Arcadia weathered helm and linen robe <laughs> oh god <laughs> Murdered my own person. <sighs> I'm glad they don't just die as soon as they go down once. I'm glad this isn't Fire Emblem rules. Also, Poncho wasn't even in the fight, right? Like, I, didn't, I saw no raccoon there. Explain what happened here before you end up like the others who attacked us. It's, it's Fennec the Rom you want. He brought us here to find something powerful, but there were traps. Horrible traps everywhere. Uh huh. My, my sweet Gunther. His, his face. He just touched the wire for a moment. Oh. Oh yikes. We were tricked. There's something awful in that place. Some kind of terrible magic. See, I told you. Told us. Told us what exactly? Listen, Vash. This place reeks of forbidden magic. Something horrible is gonna happen if we don't leave now. You told us that. I don't remember you telling us that. He didn't. What, what are you doing? Are you crazy? You can't touch that. Put it down. Do you hear me? Breathe for a second, Des. It's just a playing card. This is very... It says the fool, Des. Okay, okay, so it's a, it's a tarot. Um, I do wonder, because it said these two are my main characters, Des and Vashti, and obviously we're in the past now, but in the future we're separated. I wonder if we're going to get to do like a Fire Emblem Sacred Stones thing where we can follow each character's path through the story and we'll have like two separate parties and things will be happening on two different fronts. That would be very interesting. But I imagine Vashti is going to be like our main, main party member, and in Des, we'll probably meet up with him again at some point. The Fool. Yeah, Terra. You know, Fool, Moon, King, Emperor. Or, yeah, King, Emperor, Hermit, all that jazz. Oh, wrong place, wrong time with this one, huh? Can you walk? I, I think so. And go home, and don't ever say the word magic again. Your mother wouldn't want her daughter spending a lifetime exiled in Letha. Okay. There's our raccoon. Hey. 
Well, you coming along or not? He's like something magical, Des. I thought we were supposed to, weren't supposed to meddle with that sort of thing. Never asked to become this. Besides, he's cute and seems like a competent ranger. Rather have him on our side than someone else's. Oh, look at you, so progressive. I knew you had a heart in there somewhere. Yeah! Poncho joins the party! Poncho! I have a trash panda in my party. This is exciting. This is very exciting. How did you just gain the skills of being a ranger, though? New items in the item shop, compendium entries in the compendium, and chatter in the tavern have been unlocked. Check these regularly after battles to see what's new as the story progresses and ensure your units are in fighting shape. Also, feel free to experiment with any combination of units in battles. Each unit participating gains a level and one CP for skills at the end of the fight. And special characters like Vashti, D uh, Desmond, Edda, and Poncho will auto-level with your party throughout the story. Cool. Alright, seems neat. Okay. And it seems like some stuff's uh, updated over there. Yeah, we can go to Emblemere. Okay, well, let's go back to Dantelion. Um, and I want to check out my troop management. So, yeah, you, I don't think I want that on anymore. Of course... Okay, perfect. Perfect. You can have your bow back, and Poncho will have the crossbow. Perfect. Oh, you have a better crossbow, actually. Your, your crossbow is super better. Okay, Poncho has a good crossbow. You were wielding a knife in the... in the thing there. So... Yeah, okay. Well, we'll crossbow master. You have high speed. Good movement. I like this. Okay, um... Nev, uh, I'm gonna be removing this and this from you. Cause, uh, I'm gonna give it to Poncho. <laughs> Cause, uh... Poncho. That's- that's all I got to say. Just- just Poncho. Alright. So, there's Poncho. Poncho seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, we do have... Skills to do, right? Skill tree? So yeah, we have one CP I can spend on some things. Um... Two tick- two quick shots. 55% damage with each hit. I think I would rather upgrade Arrow Rain. Vision by three, ignores five enemy evasion when targeting them. I think I just want Arrow Rain level two. For you, more AoE skills seems good. Um, okay, you. Increase your XP by three, cast faster. Once per battle, you can create a shield of energy that adds plus 15 temporarily to their max HP pool for five turns. When Warmancer's hit, increase magic defense. Increase your cast speed. I do kind of like the idea of giving you ice, but for right now I'm just going to stick with this. Um, and we can see the timing on the attacks there. So this one says it's fast. Okay. Oh wait, that's Shatterbolt. Wall of Flame, 3 tile cross, 10% chance to inflict burning and leave a trap that persists for two turns. And I upgraded Fireball as much as I could last time. Uh, immune... Uh, I would like to get the Flame Wall. That seems like a good thing to grab. Alright, you. Uh, increase max HP by 7. Speed. Each strike, we have a chance to inflict that, that. Each time the Cavalier is hit with a melee skill. Um... Increase evasion. Uh, attack twice, 65% damage per strike. Increase damage. Um, let's give you higher evasion, I think. I want you to be able to, to be tanky. So, um, yeah, we still have none of these skills to equip. Uh, you, though, you can just do big damage. I'm down with you just doing big damage. Body rush up to two tiles away. 60% chance to inflict stun though. I do like stun in games quite a bit. All right, increase max HP, increase max SP. 
Increase potency of all skills that use herbal materials in the field magic tree. Increase potency of all skills that use volatile materials in the corrosive concoctions tree. Poisoning powder inflicting noxious. When hit with any single target magic skill, gain plus one magic attack. Well, right now I want you to be more of a healer. Um, so... I would rather you just heal more. Uh, throw a flask that releases a healing mist to all within a three tile radius. Revives a unit. I think I want this because... I mean, shit, like... I see no other way to actually revive people, and if they just disappear when they go down... Yeah, we need a way to revive people. Yeah. Okay. Poncho has two skills. So you have Noxious Arrow. That's good. That is quite good. Silencing Shot, Eagle Eye. And bold, you have Crossbow Mastery. Pinning Shot, Vital Shot. Um, Shrapnel Shot seems like it could be good. Dig into the Earth, reducing move minus one, but in order to gain three attack. SP cost. It's kind of expensive to have both of those. I like, um, Pinning Shot a whole lot. Let's get, let's upgrade Pinning Shot. And then let's grab Shrapnel Shot. There we go. Cool. Alright. So I could have leaned you into the more damage route. Um. Because I already do have a Field Medic specifically, this character, but... If you're going to be around for the whole game, I don't mind you being, like, my my dedicated healer. Basically. So what's the compendium got? Um... I see. So, just some descriptions of the various characters here. And areas. Okay. Quite a lot of information here, so... We'll, we'll wait... We'll read, like, one right now. And, uh, I'll try to... Actually, let's wait until the end of the video to read the compendium stuff. That way people can skip it if they don't... If they don't care, so... All right, that looks good to me. Um, we need to check out the shop, though. Oh yeah, I didn't check. I didn't check the tavern last time. Do have to do that. All right, Poncho. Um, so it said they had new stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. Wooden shoes. So reduces jump, but increases your move. Interesting. That is pretty interesting. A ranger that can't jump is a little bit problematic, though. Don't know how I feel about that. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna ignore that for now. You, um, let's see. I'll, I'll give you your light boots back. Yeah, because I am using you a fair bit. So you can have wooden shoes though, just to increase your movement. Um, still nothing to put on your head, though. Uh, you don't need to jump. So I might give you the movement instead. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you this. I'm gonna give you the wooden shoes instead. You, however, I'll keep on the light boots. Um, because you might still need to jump occasionally. Oh, wait, new swords. Oh. Oh, I didn't see this before. So, currently you have a wooden longsword. Yeah, so that's... Targets, uh, defense. Inquisitor is one of the ones we can have. Great sword. So, that's just more damage. That seems good to me. Purchase. Yep. So, was there a... There is! Yeah, the bone sword I can grab for you. No new shield? No. Okay. Wooden shield, uh, shoes seem incredibly uncomfortable. And there's the balanced crossbow, which I have now. Um, and I can upgrade you with a birch bow. Let's go ahead and give you a linen tunic as well. I might have one chilling in there. All right, and we can give you a weighted hammer. And hey, Ida does not have an accessory. So I can make your move absurd. Which I might do. 
Yeah, let's make your move absurd. There we go. Alright, I'm happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. And yeah, Poncho also has really, really good cast time. Of course, that seems like it's a class-specific thing, but oh my god, look at his crit chance. Holy shit. Okay, that's really good. So what all do we have here? We have a Weathered Helm. We're not an armor. Okay, and one more Light Boot. Okay. Um... Let's go here. Let's just make sure... You can't equip that. You can't equip anything. That. That. Weathered Helm. Yeah, so we have a few more Weathered Helms. But, uh, unfortunately it seems like they can't wear the Weathered Helms. Alright. That's fine. What's contracts? Won't let me click on it yet. Um... Alright, so... Now the tavern. There's a lot to keep up with. Well, we'll proceed! What are you drinking? Contracts? You've already accepted all the contracts. Chatter. Don't call me a gossip, but I have heard a thing or two. Former Queen Pat Patricia. Poor woman. I feel like she wasn't given a fair shake as queen. After her youngest died, they said she poisoned him out of malice. King Turgon and her never really got along, I suppose, or so they say. He always loved his children more, especially that Lucretia. Guess I can't blame him, she's easy on the eyes and strong-spirited. But to have Patricia executed, if you ask me, he did it just to marry that Venezia woman. Nobler blood in that one. Ah. So you had the queen murdered, and now the queen is having you murdered. <laughs> Story of Lucretia and Annalise Belenive is a sad one. Two girls often would be heard playing in the Dantelion courtyard, but that was years ago. After marrying the king, Queen Venezia wasted no time in declaring both girls illegitimate. And around that time, rumors began swirling that King Turgon was ill. Between you and I, that time it seems a little too convenient. The city wasn't much before Turgon's uh, war with Volan. The iron and spices in Boltus Mountains made it what it is today. As the tide of war started turning to Turgon's side, the influx of trade Brought many to the capital looking for work and riches. Some found it, and the others, well, you'll likely find themselves drinking them. You'll likely find them drinking themselves to death. Okay, there's still a lot more stuff to to read here, so we'll stop that for now. But uh, it seems like we can get contracts there, which are probably like little kill a certain amount of this unit, and you get a reward things. Booking Annalise Passage to let that doesn't go quite as smoothly as we had hoped. Um, so troop management. So I do have six characters to throw in now. Now that we have Poncha, so. That's fine. There we are. I like Vashti's hair. Oh, she has nice hair. Very, very good stuff. All right, time to kick some ass. Emblemere. Beachy. Oh, Poncho's not allowed to come in with us? Annalise, please don't try and run at this stage. Karen Monastery is a beautiful and quiet place. You'll have freedoms most can only wish for. That's my father's old crest, the sword and crown. Oh, hey, it's you. Mage, here. <laughs> you, you, you mistake for you for someone else, I, I tell ya. Oh, please, Finnick. You think I tracked you all this way without knowing who you were? Cratia can protect you. She's not afraid of magic like that old crow on the throne. She'll change things for you and I. We'll be free to go outside the bounds of the elementals. Again, your offer is very, very kind, but it'd be far kinder for this actual Finnick. Seems like a pleasant chap, and if our paths ever cross, I'll be sure to give him your regards. Seems you've mistaken this for an offer. Better to consider it a forced conscription into the Lucretian military. Oh, <laughs> what sweet providence! I'm afraid my friends from Dantelion have arrived, and if the local graffiti paints an accurate portrait with Annalise Belneve in tow. King's daughter? Get Annalise out of here quickly. 
Well, if it ain't our lucky day. Ah, oh, the whistle. Soon we'll have two gifts for our rightful ruler. Make quick work of the rest. Yeah, it is going to be interesting to see how Vashti gets turned to this side. I mean, I imagine the stuff that the queen is up to comes out. Maybe Desmond stays behind because he's like, I want to try and fix stuff from within rather than go join the rebels. Possibly. I could see that happening. Hey, how you doing? Alright, so put you down right there. Uh, Poncho, you go over here. And Nave, you go over there. And you go right there. Probably would be useful to have like another cavalier or tank on the team, but uh, well, let's just, let's just keep running this until um until the game shows me I'm stupid. <clears throat> Which probably won't take too long. Jed Jedidaya instead of Jebidaya. <laughs> That's not one I've ever seen before. Jedidaya. So can I see your movement range? Is that possible? It's usually possible. I mean, I can count your movement, I guess. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can make it like right there. So if I move right here, we should be totally fine. Uh, pinning shots. 70% chance to inflict you with limp. I don't think I need to do that yet. Let's just, let's just shoot you. Oh my, 51 damage. Oh, Poncho, you, you're terrifying. Can you hit from here? You cannot. Um, so let's actually move you back then. Like, just stay right here. All right, and then we have another archer back there. A lot of ranged units here. So they have an apothecary, a mage, a cavalier, and like two rangers. All right, and what new stuff did we get? We got reviving. So I only have one. I only have one. That's important to remember as well. We we do have a limited amount of these things. Yike. Okay. I like the idea of an apothecary that specifically uses like, um, you know, poison concoctions and stuff. That's a fun idea. Um. You're going to be able to go down pretty quickly, I think. Jasmine. There's not a healer close by to save you, and you kind of ran right up in my face. That's a two-handed cavalier, so we do need to be careful. Um, so where's more enemies at? The right or left side? Definitely the left side. Alright, we're going over here then. And Des, you also move over here. Mm-hmm. Not being able to see where the enemies are actually casting magic is spooky. It definitely makes things scarier, because you can't prepare. Ah, I moved outside your range, haha, <laughs> idiot. So your your attack couldn't go off. Good. So you as as long as you can adequately guess what they're doing, you can you can do some real work there. Um So Poncho will go before this character. Good. Yeah. Alright. And you move over here and shoot this character. Yeah. 39. Almost enough to kill. If I had done a dowsing arrow, you would be dead. I should have done one. But once again, I don't think the apothecary is going to be able to reach. And since items don't exist in this game, it seems, we it's going to be very, very easy for us to take enemies um, out by just kind of... As, as long as we can keep the healers away, we will be able to just annihilate people. So you're gonna die as soon as Poncho's turn comes around. Good. You have three HP. Okay, wow, bold. Um, I could finish you off now. I think I'm gonna let somebody else finish you off though. I could drop down a flame wall right here. Make you like walk around or something. Hmm. No. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it on top of you. There we go. When's your turn coming? Right there. Okay. That's fine. Ow, Poncho, no! There you go. Down. There's a firewall for you. Okay, Vashti. You move up here. We'll allow Dez to take out that uh, other character. Alright. And we don't get XP based off of what actions we do, so we don't have to worry about, like, letting weaker characters get actions in and things like that. We just get rewarded based off of how many fights we do, so... Okay, that flame wall's not... If the flame wall did damage as they walk through it, it would be more useful. I feel. But the fact that they can just walk through it without worrying about taking damage... ...hampers its usefulness a bit. Um, let's pin you up there. Now, that being said, if I pin an enemy in fire, now that, that would be very unfortunate for them. That, that would, that would be rough for them. Okay, so... You attack with a basic arrow on that character. Yeah, there's some different wrinkles to this that uh, make you have to think a little bit differently than you would in some other games. So, that's interesting. Like I said, not being able to see where enemies are actually targeting is certainly a thing. Because you have to, like, play more... You have to do more guesswork, basically, than you would otherwise. So that's cool. I'm down for things being different. It keeps me on my toes. Um, so fireball on you. Um, actually, your turn is coming up. Let's flame wall you again, and try to get you trapped in the flame wall. See, I'll be cast as if it's centered on the target unit, potentially extending its range. Um, wait, when is your action going to be taken? Because your turn is coming up there. Okay, but no, that's fine. That's fine. We can, we can target the unit, because um, I'm going to be going before then. It doesn't matter. Good. Now that I actually know what to look for on the bar down there, we'll be good. So, you are hobbled, and now I'm going to use the fire on you, so you'll just burn to death. Bye-bye. Ow. Alright. Um... Vashti, I really don't want this uh, apothecary to be doing much healing. Oh, they're not going to be doing much healing because they leaned into poison. Okay, I didn't get the stun, but that's fine. Um, my other character's turn is coming up in just a second here, so I'll leave you to do that. Do we have to worry about height differential? Doesn't seem so. So this is going to do 44. It's gonna do 38. That's gonna do 47. Hit you with the 47. Stuns seem like they're gonna be very, very useful in this. Oh, that's unfortunate, friend. <laughs> Love to see it. All right, let's find out if um, I have to worry about hitting my own characters. It says I have a 100% chance to hit Manny here, so let's see if that's true. Um, you can die to that. Alright, Neve, I don't know why you're coming down here closer to us. What did you just hit me with? Ow. Alright, um... We don't really need to heal yet, so I can focus on just throwing stuff at you. More, uh, volatile flasks. There you go. What a cool class. Uh, Santiago. You don't have enough to really do much, so just stay right there. Okay, I don't have to worry about hitting deaths, it looks like. It looks like my stuff can just kind of go through deaths. Cool. And shield bash. I guess quick attack would be the best thing to do here. Yeah, you're gonna die anyway. 
Okay, that was not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Um, Poncho. Basic attack on this dork. You. Basic attack on that dork. So we don't have to wait for enemies to die either, since it seems like they don't really drop anything when their bodies expire. So, cool. And I got a power ring out of the deal. I don't see myself equipping the power ring that much just because I do like movement so much in these games. I was the person that ran battle boots and like Jerminus boots are the ones you get that speed it up even more, right? I, I just ran those all the time because movement is so important. Sometimes you need that one little extra bit of movement to save the day. Hamblemir sure has changed. What does Lucretia want with you? L listen, I, I've never met the woman. These people are strangers to me, same as you. Regardless, we can't let you walk away from here. Clearly you're valuable to Lucretia for some reason. Eh, yeah, Vash, not so close. He could still be carrying some magic potion or card or something. Huh? What was that about a card? Oh, shit. No, that, no, that, that went away. No! My controller did that stupid thing where it double pressed. Wait, what's happening? Oh. Refuse or accept Desmond's proposal to... Oh my god, okay. That, so my controller did a weird thing that it does sometimes where sometimes it double presses A. I'm guessing Desmond's telling me to execute Finnick? Oh my god, I wish I could have seen that. I suppose people- it popped up for like a second, so if you're watching the video, I guess you could go back and see it that way. Um, you'd have to do like the frame- go frame by frame thing probably, but damn it, I hate when my controller does that. Stupid controller. I'm not executing Fennec. Fennec seems cool. Death? You can't be serious, Des. Listen, I'm not happy about it either, but you know how much dark magic damaged my village. Magic reaps awful things in people. You can't be suffered to live. It's the law. So yeah, we have a law against magic users, I see. Like, we're going to put someone to death in the middle of the streets like an animal. Specifically, though, they, they specifically said, like, we can go outside the elementals if you work with Lucretia. So, sticking with the elemental magic is probably fine, but as soon as you get into, like, blood magic and dark magic and stuff, they don't like it. No, oh, you're right. I wouldn't ask you to. I'll take him outside the city limits. You can charter passage to Letha, and I'll meet you at the docks tomorrow. This, there's no world in which I'll allow that. Give me a moment to think. Queen Venezia finds out if Wolf catches even a whiff of this. Oh, they can eat. They can eat it. We'll take him with us. Huh? What? Are you crazy? We'll tie him up and take him with us. He'll be exiled like every other mage who escaped death. Ashley, listen to yourself. Des, I will not kill a man without trial, and I absolutely won't allow you to. It's not right. The law provides another way. He's dangerous, Vash. We're all dangerous. Nothing about this life is safe, but I won't be cruel. We don't know this man any more than any other stranger, so we're taking him with us, and that's that. You'll live out your life as an exile in Letha. It's a mercy, I assure you. Well, what? No, you can't do that. I haven't done anything wrong. You have. The moment you stole magical artifacts, you obtained a death sentence. Trust me, this is better. We'll gag him, and then tomorrow morning we set sail. Well, that was wrapped up very quickly. Finnick does not seem very happy about this. I'm, I'm wondering if Letha is not as much of a mercy as we're <laughs> hinting at, but I imagine that was a big break point, right? Where I could have executed Finnick, or I could have not executed Finnick, and he would have either joined the team or not joined the team, obviously, because he'd be dead or alive. Because I want Finnick on the team. Finnick seems cool. You know, except contracts. Contracts are short, often battle-only missions with unique items and rewards found on the world map with the blue symbol. It looks like a Wi-Fi symbol. Finite amount will unlock after key story missions, so check the tavern often. Cool, we have like little challenge missions. That's neato. All right, so we're done there. We can go to the sunken coast now. Um, I think I want to go into my troop management and specifically spend all my skill points. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Um, we haven't really had a problem with evasion yet, so I don't think I'm gonna bother with that quite yet. I do think I want that silencing shot. 30% chance to inflict silence. Arrow rain. I didn't even use that last time. Allows faster traversal of vertical spaces with vastly increased jump while equipped. So, I could put high ground on... Let's grab high ground. Oh, it requires two. Damn it. It requires two. So, uh, I'm actually going to save up for high ground because then I can give you the better boots. So, we're going to we're gonna hold our points there. Um, what about you? Uh, root yourself to elemental energies, decreasing move by, by one in order to increase cast speed by two. Energy shield. Quick tongue. I think I want Quick Tongue. Maybe. Flame Wall, 15% chance to inflict. And persist for two turns. Yeah. I think I just want to increase my fire damage. Oh, it's only 5% though. Hmm. Let's make our casting faster. Let's do Quick Tongue. So I actually have a skill to put on here. There we go, Quick Tongue. Awesome. And Cavalier. Um, let's check out the skill tree here. So, movement increase, increase performance training. There's a 5% chance, high jump, twinkle toes, shield training. I think I would want shield training. Shield triage is also a useful skill, but I mean, I'm using quick attack a fair bit. So how do we actually change classes? Promote. I see. So maybe once we finish off a class, I can change to some other things like that? Maybe. Yeah, because I don't see a way to do it here. I mean, we could, we could respec our characters back at the beginning, but... All right, so you have a bunch of good stuff now. I'm gonna go ahead and give you this. Good to me. Um, skill tree for you. Yeah, crisis mode is quite good. Um, HP reserves, increase healing. I'm gonna get this. The next level of reviving flask. Because that just seems immediately useful. Uh, you, Poncho. Chance by five times each or eight times injured. Dig in the earth, reducing move minus one, but in order to gain plus three attack. Hmm. Rarely lowers your own speed. 90% chance to limp is amazing. I'm getting that. Yeah, that's quite good. That's basically guaranteed. I like status effects in these games. They're very powerful, especially if I can stop someone from moving. All right, so that seems pretty good there. Um, is there anything new in the item shop? Um, I guess I can just look here. Uh, you rod is new, I think. Linen cap is definitely new. And apprentice miter. Okay, yeah, there's new stuff here. All right, so outfitter. Um, I can give you a linen cap. Good stuff. You can have an Apprentice Miter. There you go. And you can also have the U-Rod. Looks good to me. I imagine I'm going to be replacing Santiago with, um... Uh, what was it, Yannick? Soon? But not quite yet. Um, so you keep the Weathered Helm as an Apothecary. You can, you can wear heavy armor as an Apothecary. Which is interesting, not what I would have expected. All right, so we're good there. Um, now, how about we go read? Um, let's go. Let's go finish off the tavern stuff, I guess. So we also have the contracts: magic must foul, five goons walk into a bar. Cool. All right, so yeah, let's read this stuff. Well, ending years ago, we haven't really forgotten the war with Volan. Day in, day out, I still hear stories of families torn apart, young men conscripted just to die in the mountains. When King Kaltrin II of Volan's capital city in Serov died under mysterious circumstances, some say black magic burnt the skin from his bones. Other than an assassin took his life in the bathhouses. 
took weeks for news to reach the soldiers. Still common here songs commemorating the boys killed days after Kim Kalching II met his end. Their lives caught in limbo between a war that ended long before they could stop- they stopped fighting it. Okay. Just wanting a history lesson, that's fine, but don't ask for more than that. Magic is and has been forbidden in Tropas for a long time and for good reason. Ask anyone in the neighboring hamlets and they'll tell you horror stories of dark magic. People bleeding from their eyes and mouths, writhing in the dirt as foul creatures crawl from their bellies. Such magic has no place here. We ship abominations who practice such things to Volan or Lethe. Good riddance, I say. Channeling natural energy is water, fire, what have you. That's your business, but just keep it to yourself. Okay, so yeah, they have they they have less of an aversion to channeling natural energies. It's just when you start getting into the weirder stuff. So a raccoon do what now? Never heard of such a thing, but these are wild times of dangerous people and creatures running amok east of here, and that cesspool Volan, I can't feign surprise. Certainly there is talk of people rising from the dead, their bones held together some, uh, by some dark ritual. Be scouring the dark recesses of the world, but I've never seen it. Bad form to speak of such things, but yes, it's true that there are some places which long ago stored artifacts, instruments, and other dangerous things for use in magical rituals. Where they are, what they may contain, I couldn't say, nor am I gunning to find out. I rather keep my head down, you understand, I recommend you do the same. Amelmere was beautiful once, the sun setting over Letha in the distance as you watched it in the docks, truly magnificent. It's beautiful still in many ways, but the place has taken a turn in recent times. Known now as a sort of holding cell for the poor sap shipped to Letha to live out their miserable final days. Yeah. Rather yeah, dangerous too, so watch your step. Those fling their days of exile often end up in Amblemere, riffraff and ne'er-do-wells if you're lucky, wild sorcerers if you're not. So yeah, Amblemere is near the place where they send the mages. Interesting. Thing I can say, the monks are friendly. Don't get me wrong, let the monastery is quite pleasant, but what else can you expect of a prison? And that's truly what the place has become, sure. There's talk of religion, the three weavers who spin, measure, and cut Arcadia from the cloth, dictating in days of old who dwell there and what of it. Let the monastery's a cage, nothing more. Thanks and say the monks are friendly. Don't get me wrong, let the monastery is quite pleasant. But what else can you expect of a prison? I- I don't expect the prison to be f to- to be pleasant. It says, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's- let the monastery's quite pleasant, but what can you expect of a prison? I, I'm- maybe that's supposed to say unpleasant? I don't know. Or maybe I'm just reading it wrong. To be sure, there have been men who tried to leave Letha, many succeeded, but there's a tacit- Agreement between all those who haunt that place. Escape means death. It's a dangerous place surrounded by crags and the land is soured from some ancient catastrophe. But when you enter, you're marked. To be caught outside is worse than what the earth can do to you. Everyone, and I do mean everyone, knows what is to be done to those with the brand of Letha Monastery. It's a mercy to kill such men. Remember that and do not suffer one to live outside that place. Yeah, so mages... that's a pretty common thing. Mages getting... very, very much hated on, so... Alright, we'll look at the compendium and stuff next time, now that we've, uh, looked at all the stuff there. It's always nice to get, um, those kinds of things, so. Uh, oops, that was the wrong save slot. Oh well. Hopefully this video is good, because I just saved over my previous <laughs> save. Oopsie, we're supposed to cycle saves, so. Alright, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.